Well, I had that job too, man. Yeah, I was tired, man. Well, yeah, and I, I, didn't, well, I didn't sleep last night, the night before. Yeah. Yeah, I was tired. Yeah, yeah. I was tired. Yeah, 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 I was <laughs> you get on the strike, yeah, you get with him. Yes, sir. Now, Elder, I'm going to start. You want the door or the corner? Okay, so let me explain. All right, top of the morning. I know a lot of people are interested in what we're doing. So right now, early this morning, um, we had some rain, some overcast. And um, we're out here this morning getting ready to set up scaffolding because we're about at the place where we need to do it at. And um, we're going to run this whole wall right here. Um, we're going to run it up to maybe about another six to eight courses. Then we're going to switch and go to the other side. Um, it's seriously overcast out here today. Hopefully that this is the last of the rain uh, so we can get going here. So... We're setting up right now because we've been waiting for the rain to dissipate um, before we start getting on what we need to get on. The book teaches, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And I might add that the sisters here at Goshen has done a wonderful job at hospitality, feeding us, making sure we're taken care of. It's just impeccable service, just really truly impeccable service. I can't thank the father enough for uh, what he's doing with his people in his daytime and hour and how that we come together in unity to build these communities while the whole world is going to hell in a handbasket we have actually brothers and sisters that uh i mean we got brothers and sisters from georgia kentucky tennessee indiana all coming together to help to make sure we get this building project done because if the communities or any communities was left besides straightway, if any communities was left to actually do this building, the size of this building on their own, it would take the majority of the summer, then it would eat up precious time that you could be using on the farm to do uh, gardens, to tend to animals, uh, all kinds of stuff you could be doing. Uh, but because we're able to expedite this, we can get these buildings up. Our next place I think is gonna be um, is oh we also got brothers here from Alabama too so Alabama we got a big building we got put up down there we got a big building we got to put up in uh, Georgia as well and plus we got a big building in Tennessee we're working on so straightway as a ministry in a whole this is what it's all about it ain't all about talking sitting up in stairway living living out there in the cities and and uh, not accomplishing anything you see we're going to be fine if the proverbial crap hit the fan uh, hit the fan we're going to be fine uh, because we're doing what the Father tells us to do because we read the instructions of the Bible. So this is what you're seeing. And so when you see all these vehicles behind me, beside me, that's because they're getting things ready. They've come and descended upon this nice little community, which this is the largest community that we have in the ministry right now. Um, they are sitting on a 
a nice little chunk of land, we thank the Father for it. So, if your leaders, your pastors and them, if they wasn't selfish, weren't about trying to build up their own little nest egg, if people really truly get the message of the kingdom, then they will be doing what we're doing here. And that's obvious. They will literally be doing this. But because people like making excuse and, and the inherent laziness of man will always make an excuse for not getting things done, they'll say it don't take all that and we're not to do all this. Well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see nothing wrong with us building this building. And when it's done, we don't owe nobody nothing. We don't owe no laborers. We don't owe the bank. We don't owe anybody. As this building is being built, it's paid for. And I think that's what the book says. When the blessing of the Lord is rich and add no sorrow, and a borrower is a servant to the lender, no, we keep ourselves free and unspotted from this world to make sure that we stay serving the most high y'all. So no, we're gonna keep doing this. How about that? We're gonna keep doing this and keep rolling. And we bless the, the Father for it. Hope y'all learned something from this. We'll keep y'all uh, posted a All little right, bit Good later. morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. We are up here at our family member's place uh, doing what Israelites supposed to do. We are up here in Goshen at an undisclosed location somewhere in the great state of an undisclosed state. So um, we getting it done. We really truly are helping our brother and out. I was telling the brother, and I said, normally it would take me about a month and a half, two months, because we didn't have as many block layers. But see, I want to show y'all what Israelites are supposed to be doing to help expedite things so that um, we don't have to spend the whole entire summer on building. So we're up here, as you can see, and we got a late, late start because we got up at 2 o'clock in the morning and we headed this way. And, of course, after we did our salutations, our greetings and stuff, we're doing pretty good. It's a pretty big building. Pastor, what size is the building? 32 by 50. It's a 32 by 50. That's a pretty big building. That's, a matter of fact, that's bigger than a boat building. Uh, I think a boat building may be longer. Was it longer, bro, Scott? It's 50. It's 50. Man, this building is a lot bigger. Because ours was what, 24? 26. 26? 26. 26, all right. So anyway, it's going to be a nice storage building to be able to store uh, stuff. It's really nice. But anyway, so we're all up here. We got uh, people from different communities. Pastor Corey and them community here from Kansas City. Elder Rufus and them here from Georgia. Um, and we, because we got Elder Mitchell and his crew here from Straightway, Kentucky. Um, and then, of course, we have the Tennesseans here from, from the hub. Uh, we have a lot of brethren up here working together in unity uh, to help to make sure we get this building done. Now, if we would have got started um, like at maybe 6 o'clock this morning, we would have had this building at the pace we're going right now. We'd have had this building well, a little over halfway done. But considering that, when, when did we actually put the first block down? Maybe about 11, 11 something? Because I didn't get here until 1030. 11.30. And it's going on for us. 3.50 the last time he told me. But this is a lot of block that we put down so far. It's a lot. The building looks really good, too. Looks really good. Um, but it's, it's really nice to see the Israelites. Uh, everybody up here have a job to do. Working together here in unity with next. Um, uh, I hope I hope it don't rain. They say it's going to rain, but we hope and pray it doesn't rain. Hey, my box right here, y'all don't have to worry about putting that thing up and nothing like that. That thing's waterproof, so... You just leave it right there. So, but um, we got a cut man. We got mixers, got mud layers. We got uh, strikers. We got laborers. Uh, we got block layers, block mixers. And we got people who clean, make sure they keep the um, mud up off the, the concrete that it doesn't cause divots. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good overall. So right now we're working on corners. And there's no way that I can continue to work on corners if I'm on the cell phone making videos. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later, okay? With that said, say shalom, little man.
I'm pretty sure. Straightway Goshen Assembly. Bless y'all. Pastor, uh, we only got like three, four hours in yesterday that long. Right, right. And we've been fighting the rain today. Not really bad though, but we got pretty much a full day. We actually maybe cutting in a couple hours shorter than what we normally would because we're trying to move scaffolding and stuff. It takes a while. Yeah. But anyway, here's the building so far. Let me go back a little bit. And plus, we're like a little over maybe about halfway on the other side, on the other side over there. So pastor, all right, you see what it takes when I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Um, uh, when brethren come together, you know what I mean? Cause this, this is a building right here could take you easy a whole summer to do. And it could take up employment and labor on other projects you could be doing. But what's your thoughts? about the Israelites coming from Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, um, to come in and assist the brethren to help y'all on this particular project. I'll tell you what, I was telling uh, Elder Rob earlier, I was saying to him earlier, I said, man, I really, really, truly love my family, man. Mm -hmm. And just us in here last night talking about the plan of, hey, we're gonna do this, then next we're gonna be, in, you know, we'll go to another community. After that, we're planning to go to another community. Just talking about where we're going because if you think this is a 32 by 50 building it's a big building and it's done in two days it'll be done in two full work days and to see all the brothers come together and just have a good time man we in there listening to worship music singing laughing joking and working extremely hard but it's a whole building it just got built in two days i'm just there's not another family like israel period point blank there's not another ministry like this ministry, period, point blank. This is just, it's, it's, it's amazing. And Pastor, I really, truly love my family. Pastor, what they talking about far as straightway and all this old other stuff, you can't, you don't see no other assemblies out there uh, doing this for each other in any way, shape, fashion, or form. And this is just the norm. This is the norm. This has been, Pastor, you've been up here at least four or five times now. Shep, you've been up here at least four or five times or more you know it's this is just the norm we come together we have a plan we go we execute and it's teaching man i'm looking at my sons out here i'm looking at all these children they're learning they're on the, they're striking blocks carrying blocks mixing mud there's just so many different things that even the children are learning and i was looking at my son early he came to me and said dad i'm watching you because i want to be able to learn to lay blocks mm -hmm. And I'm just like, what's better than that? These boys are going to grow up, and they know, they're going to know how to dig a footer, pour the footer, pour the pad, build, build electrical work, drywall, framing homes. They're going to know how to do everything, paint, prime paint, well, no matter what it is, they're going to know how to do it because they're seeing the men come together and do it and build these communities. There is not another ministry like Straightway Truth ministry period point blank so when people come talking crazy i let them talk honestly they, i mean whatever we too busy working you got that right and you know what the beauty is about this building right here you don't owe no man nothing nope. especially nope. when we we're going to help send the roof crew up too yes sir help get it done and ex get it expedited no, pastor no, yes sir are you <laughs> You definitely getting your hands in here and learning all the inside. <laughs> Pastor, you've been doing it all day long, uh, learning the first couple of stages and everything and seeing this building go up. What's your thoughts? Chef, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative because you've always said build houses, plant gardens. And if your man can't do that, you ain't gonna survive. Mm -hmm. And that's what we supposed to be doing is to see it come up ground up to see when we were just standing on the pad the other day talking this day too we got doorways windows 
We got, you know, just Israel, you know, the real Israel coming together because nobody's out here complaining. Nobody's out here disgruntled. It's just the love of the, of the father, the love of the brethren. We all come here just getting it done. You know, I enjoyed myself being over there on mud all day. I wasn't worried about what everybody else was doing. I just wanted to get out good mud. Yeah. Because I want to learn these particulars. And when it, when it comes down to really understanding what the excellence got to be like, you know, what the requirement. I watched the requirement that you said all day long. I watched Elder Mitch who followed in your footsteps early on. And so I'm seeing how it's coming together. You know, when you all pulled up, you know, the other day, Shepard, this is what it looked like. We had a pad. You told Elder Mitch to come in to, to gather some intel. Uh-huh. Then immediately we saw the corners go up, and then this is what we look like today. Two days so, late. Two, not da two days. Yeah, not even two days. This is on the second day. So when I see what it is and what you've been preaching, see, people don't understand, you know, what it is that you said. And it's not that you bragging. Right. You're just saying you just setting a standard in Israel. You're just yep. setting a high standard. Exactly. This is what y'all said. Y'all said set a standard in Israel. Mm -hmm. You said men are following and our families are growing. Our families are coming up under that same banner, understanding what it means to see the evil day coming mm -hmm. and preparing for it. Man, this is excellent, Shepard. I'm just, I'm elated. I'm, I'm, I don't even really know what to say, Shepard. I'm just thankful, man, to be able to see the brethren come together. Pastor, you want to hold this for me for a second? Yes, sir. All right. So what I'm trying to get, the point I'm trying to get across in everything out here is when you buy land, you go out there and you buy land, and then you develop a plan. All right, the plan is, is that you're going to need shower houses, you're going to need a place to fellowship or an assembly, and you're going to need homes, you're going to need storage units and all this other stuff. We don't have the money to go out there and give somebody else in the world mm -hmm. and pay them the labor because whatever the building material cost is on this building that we had to pay for, the world would charge you that much more, if not a little bit more in labor just to get it done. Mm -hmm. But when the Most High Yah gave us the commandment over in Jeremiah for us to build houses, for us to plant gardens, who was he talking to? He was talking to Israel. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't understand, people don't understand the blessing of Yah. The blessing of Yah comes when he gives you this work with your hands Come on. Right and so what we're doing is we're also setting an example or showing the people because, like I stated before with Pastor Muir, if they try to do this whole thing, they try to do this whole thing, it would take almost a whole summer, like it did me early on. So then when we start developing communities, people start coming in, and then I say, you know what? We can just develop a workforce amongst ourselves. We coming from, I forgot, we got Kansas here, Alabama here, Georgia here, Kentucky here, and Tennessee here. And and not only that, the sisters here are feeding us well. And you're doing a damn good host too, Pastor. Hallelujah. Feeding us well. Hallelujah. All this, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Well-oiled machine. So we take this, do this building. And you watch this. So we go do another building in Alabama this summer, this spring and summer. We do another building in Georgia. And we still have the whole entire spring and summer to do our own work. Yep. While we have gotten experience learn how to do it now we can build our own buildings at each one of these communities when people come around and show and now we don't have to waste all this time all this energy and all this effort because now we know what to do because we have physical hands-on training come on and now you can pay it for like pastor said now his children are sitting out here learning getting all the ins and out motivated by seeing it because this is a sense of accomplishment that's it whenever you see something like this i also told him i said if you ever have any storms or something like that coming this is the place to run. Yeah. This is the place to run. <laughs> right here, I'm telling you. But when you see all these communities, and if you had a community, you got to throw up these buildings and stuff and have these buildings. And I'm talking about throwing them up right, too. Yeah. You put these buildings up. Imagine right now if we went out and bought 50 acres of land, we develop a plan to do a dining hall, uh, a fellowship hall, an assembly, a shower house, and put three homes on it. We could do that all in one summer mm. by ourselves. We could do it all in one summer by mm. ourselves. Well, how can y'all do that? Our brother and dwelling together in Come unity, on. common unity. That's how we can do it. You can get everybody like we did with all these different communities. And every time they come here, they learn something. We could literally throw up and build that community right now. But as we come together in more unity and continue to buy more lands and more communities pop up, this is what you're going to consistently see out of straightway ministry.
Then soon we'll be out of Kansas doing the same thing. And we'll be in whatever place the Father gives us, doing the same thing. The problem is with people out there today is there ain't too many people. They want to talk about y'all, but they don't want to obey y'all. That's, That's, That's the problem exactly right, there. right there. They want to talk about them, but don't want to obey them. So anyway, I'm going to go on just a quick tour right here, show y'all what we got going on here for a second. And we appreciate Pastor them having us up here. So they're doing the striking over here. Now they're take, tearing down the scaffolding. Uh, which most y'all are not going to see the scaffolding that was up. So we're going to go ahead and show you the scaffolding that they're doing. And we're going to be at this again tomorrow morning. And we should have to definitely finish up this wall east because we're up higher than what we were yesterday. And here's the scaffolding right here that has to be set up. You got scaffoldings, you got bracing, you got walk boards, and all of that. This building has this truss wire in it right here, rebar. Um... We gave them the go ahead and what to do on that. So now they're tearing down the scaffolding. The Israelites are. And we're going to move this scaffolding to this wall right here. And we're going to go ahead and set it up for tomorrow so we can expedite time. And since it's a straight run, we can just go ahead and run and get this wall up. And then they have the short walls right here. Um, it's really a nice building. So anyway, hope y'all learned something here today. I'm going to go ahead and get on so I can help the saints uh, get this scaffolding moving and stuff. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. King coming. So now they're getting in place right now to be able to set the lintel. And this will be a good experience for y'all to see what the brother's doing because this thing is solid concrete and it is heavy. It's going to have to be flipped. It's going to have to be flipped. It's got to be flipped. There you go. That thing is extremely heavy. All right, this Kyle. This Kyle, daddy be home soon, okay? So uh, keep protecting and watching over mom, Carol and Nelly, okay? Have a wonderful day.